is no exhaust note. You notice, of course, right away. But boy, is there smooth torque. Get on the gas and fly. And then we have uh, one pedal set up, so you know, if you can see how much I'm braking here with my foot off the gas. So I'm modula modulating the throttle to get my braking, so I'm off the gas and braking by easing off. Never, never need to touch the brake pedal, not never, but most driving you don't need the brake pedal very much. It's only at, uh, for example, coming to a stop here, so I'm anticipating I'm off the gas, I'm braking from the regen. You can see the green bar, and then at the end I'm going to apply the brakes a little just to make sure I stop, but not much need in that case. You can't really do that in a gas-powered bug eye. It's just instant power, and it's so smooth, really quite delightful. So once again, I'm just easing off the gas and feathering it in a sense to add more braking by easing off the pedal. And that's the fun of one pedal driving. Again, I'm off the, the gas here and just decelerating from the regen. And then just at the end, I'm stepping on the brake to hold the car. So we have about 30 kilowatts of uh, juice. And this green bar shows that we've used roughly a third of our battery pack. And we've done so in about 64 miles. That's how far I've driven this this new kit. This is a, it's kind of its first cycle. We're in the final phases of preparing this for departure for Iowa. We still need to fit the horn push, which had a fitment issue, so we're working on that. And a few little minor details need to be addressed, and then the car will take its new residency back up in, in Iowa. And back to the Bug Eye Cave. And not to worry, there are plenty of gas-powered cars inside this building. In fact, this is the only electric left. So we're still very, very active restoring all these gas-powered cars. So once again, we have here our temperature for the batteries about in the middle. Very hot day. We have the voltage per cell. This moves up and down, and as we put it under load, this moves over into the yellow and the red. We have our total pack uh, capacity here, so we know what our range is. We have over here an analog equivalent of that. We know that we're just a little under three quarters of a pack. This, this is in parallel with this. We have our, our mileage here, a GPS speedo. We have uh, maximum speed so far is 68 that I've done in this car to test it. And has other functions as well, but the main one is the trip odometer. And then we have an 8,000 RPM tachometer. We don't really need a tachometer, but it is nice to see the, the motor spool up. The electric motor runs quite, quite happily through the full range above, even above the red line. It's, it's not really worried about that. And then this is the low voltage, 14 volts, that tells us the uh, the health of our low voltage system. So we have high voltage charging low voltage. So there's an inverter built into this system and that keeps the low voltage so that we can power the lights and everything else on the 12 volt system. It's all through this piece of the puzzle. So other than that, it's very much like a bug eye. Um, or depending on your perspective, it's nothing like a bug eye, but 
For us, it's really satisfying to get another bug eye out into the world, one that certainly was a rescue, and to do it in a unique and novel way. And that's what we're working on this week here at Bug Eye Guys. Mm -hmm.